Welcome to Destination Central, I'm Amy Forrest and today we're in Tauranga discovering a range of businesses in the home styling industry. So let's take a look at our lineup. We fill that winter wardrobe of yours at Yabadu. Discover the beauty of Lindenova Glass Gallery. We colour our home with Gret and furnishings. And get inspired at Design on James. Then view the talented works of Kevin McArdle Sculptor. So as you can see, we have an awesome lineup for today's show. Now it becomes a bit of an expensive job for me because I always find something that catches my eye in each store. So let's check out our first business. Yabadu and Greerton offer a wonderful range of women's clothing from everyday wear to special occasions. Today we're heading in to view their winter range. Hi Rosemary, now for those who have not yet discovered your store, tell me about the range and style you have available at Yabadu. We have a classic style in Yabadu um, that will suit the Tauranga region, but we also have a little uh, garments for, that are unique to us that um, have a little bit of a quirk, which I'm really looking forward to showing you later on. Now, can you tell me about the brands that you hold in store? We have a huge amount of different labels in store to enable everybody to have a good choice of selection. Uh, some are unique to our store, as the Boo Radley. Yarra, Yarra Trail is also very good for us, and it has a lovely casual feel. Uh, Vasily jeans, can't miss. Absolutely fabulous, and they have gone for the tartan this year as well, and that has been excellent. We also have Eaton pants for the more formal pant um, and everything from uh, casual to formal in uh, probably over 20 different labels. And what colours are coming in for the winter months? The reds and blues are always popular as every year and our oranges and limes are also there but the, the um, blackberry is wonderful this year and we will show you that later on on one of our models and also the moss but the one that we're most excited about is the blue tartan that has come through in the Vasali pants and that's been just really exciting and flying out the door. Well it all sounds wonderful and you also offer an alteration service. Uh, we offer it for all the family, we can do um, everything except leather and uh, from mum, dad and the kids and if the uh, clients want pants taken up while I'm here and C Kathy is here, we can do it right then and there so they're ready to go. Now Rosemary, where are you located and how can viewers get in contact with you? We're located at 215 Chadwick Road. Feel free to pop in at any time and we'll give you that wonderful one-on-one -on -one service. So pop into our store and see our wonderful range. Great, well we've talked a lot about the outfits, I think it's time we take a look at a few. Sharon is wearing a lovely um, blackberry top that is enhanced with a tone-on-tone -tone matching scarf. Sharon's top is matched with azure flat bottom pants that have a comfortable elastic waistband. The pants have a permanent crease that will ensure that Sharon looks smart at all times. What do we need to say about Helen, how wonderful that little black and white number is for her? Uh, it is a hound's tooth wool jacket and she's matched that with Eaton pants, they're a dress pants and also will look great on every occasion. Isn't Janet looking fabulous today? She's got on a bright orange glam jacket and glam she looks with matching beads and she's complemented that with a silly jean. The jean has uh, extra beading on both pockets front and back to give that little bit of glam look um, and ideal for every occasion. Sharon is wearing a Boo Radley garment and that's unique to our store in Tauranga. It has a lace singlet that can be either worn over top or as Sharon is doing today or underneath for extra length. It is complemented by silver uh, jewellery and she just looks absolutely fabulous. Helen has exchanged her houndstooth jacket with a lovely top from Berlin. It is a, a textured little garment that has insets of black roses, a frill around the top and it's just an absolutely beautiful little garment to wear for evenings. Janet has exchanged her fabulous orange jersey for another great look. Under, over top of her grey jersey she is wearing a view jacket with a fur, fake fur trim around the collar and the sleeves. She's complemented this again with her Vasily jeans fabulous thing to wear at any occasion. Well Rosemary, all of those outfits were absolutely stunning. So if you're looking to fill that winter wardrobe of yours, head into Yabadu in Greerton, Tauranga.
for after the break as we find the perfect pieces for your home at Linton Over Glass Gallery and Gretton Furnishings. Award-winning master glass artist Lyndon Over has designed a stunning range of glass art for the perfect gift or collector's item. Let's take a look at what's on display. Hi Jackie, now what beautiful pieces on display. So tell me a bit about the artist Lyndon Over. Lyndon is an award-winning New Zealand artist. He produces the most beautiful, stunning, handmade work. Um, and a lot of it is reflective of our New Zealand landscape. And what range and style is available in store? All sorts of styles and ranges. Um, Linden does a variety of series, different series about things, and then we have beautiful um, scent bottles, beautiful vases, and yeah, stunning handmade unique pieces. And how can viewers discover this beautiful artwork? It's easy to discover, just come downtown Mount Monganui and visit the Linden Overglass Gallery or uh, visit Lava Glass which is on State Highway 5 just this side of Wairiki. Great, now Jackie let's take a look at a couple of those pieces. Sure Amy. Uh, this piece here is uh, one of Linden's wall panels, it's called Whirlpool as you can see. All these pieces are individually blown and then they are slightly fired as well. Then they're cooled and cleaned and applied individually to this is strengthened glass panel. They're striking pieces of um, unique work that uh, you also get changing shadow play with as the light changes through the day. But it really is a beautiful piece. So what else have you got to show me? Um, come with me, Amy, and we'll have a look at the beautiful volcanic pieces. Well, Amy, these pieces are part of the wonderful volcanic series. and. Uh, this series is represented in the National Gallery of Te Papa, so it is a very precious piece of New Zealand. Uh, this one is the Tongariro Crossing. Have a hold of that. Oh, yeah. A very tactile, many layers of glass. I haven't done the crossing, but people tell me that's the colour of the Crystal Lakes. How amazing is that? And how does it get all the different colours? Um, it's different coloured glass, there's absolutely no paint involved in any of uh, Lyndon's work. People do ask because the colours are so bright and crisp and beautiful. But uh, no, it's all 100% glass and handmade. And so he uses many techniques. This gorgeous shape is based on the Hangi stone, the oval river stone shape. When you add light to these pieces, oh, wow. they come to life all over again. That is beautiful. Yeah. And you've got another piece to show me as well? Yep, the next piece, uh, this is based on the Hooker Falls, our wild white water. And feel free to run your hands over these pieces, they're wonderfully tactile. Um, here you see Hooker Falls in that wild white water cascading through the rapids. And with a bit of light, they change again. Well the pieces are all absolutely stunning and there's a couple that are catching my eye over here as well. Can you tell me about them? Absolutely, we'll go and have a look. So Amy, what piece took your eye? Well I love the green, well all the colours, but the green in particular is standing out to me. This is a beautiful piece, it's called, uh, it's part of a pop, the Poppy series and it's in that lovely olive which mm. is just a gorgeous colour and you probably see you have this beautiful vase and the olive as well, which is also part of the poppy series. Wow, there's just such a variety, isn't there? There's all kinds of pieces, Amy, from tumblers and uh, wine goblets through to beautiful vases of other kinds. This is uh, the lustre glass. When the heat's worked over this piece being made, it, it draws all that metallic silver to the surface. Well, thank you very much, Jackie. They're absolutely stunning pieces, creating the perfect gift for a special someone or even a statement piece for your home. So make sure you check out the Linden Over Glass Gallery in Mount Monganui. From lounge, dining, bedroom and outdoor furniture, Gretton Furnishings in Tauranga have everything you need to add a bit of personality into your home. Let's go and have a chat to the team. 
Hi Doreen and Susan, now what a beautiful range on display. So tell me a bit about your store. Gretton Furnishings as a furniture family store is having its 60th birthday this year, so it's quite a long time for one store to be in one place. Um, eight years ago we've had a new owner and that was JP, Jean-Philippe, he's French and we try not to hold that against him. Um, we had a, a staff meeting and we decided how can we make our store stand out different to all the others. And after a bit of brainstorming, we came up with what you see here today. And we wanted the first reaction when a customer comes into our stores go, wow, look at that, all the colour and everything. And we wanted to make a lasting impression. We wanted them to go home remembering that they come to a store like this. We'd like all our customers to have a great shopping experience and go home with this fabulous memory about it. Well, congratulations on the big 60 years. So tell me a bit about the brands that you hold. We go for top quality here. So we have first and foremost Danske Mobler. We have the Stressless range, which is the top range of recliners chairs. Stressless is Norwegian design and Norwegian made. Now that's where the difference is. Uh, DMI, which is Danske Mobile imported side, that comes in with glass and lacquer furniture and so forth. We have Soren Mobler from Wanganui. Fantastic top, top range of Rimu, Hart Rimu furniture. Now all those brands are nearly all second generation manufacturing in New Zealand. So we're very proud to have them on board, or at least I better not forget Kovacs. Kovacs are coming on board very soon, so they are all leading brands in New Zealand. Now Susan, I see that you offer an interior design service, so tell me a bit about your experience in the industry and the services that you offer. Yes, I've been in the industry for many years. I started out with KO International in Taronga and then moved to the team at Greet and Furnishings. So I was part of that team that um, started to inspire the change of the shop. People find it quite difficult choosing the right furniture. It's quite a big uh, task for them and they do find it quite difficult. So whether they're downsizing into a retirement village or a modern apartment or just changing from a large family home into a smaller unit, they find the experience quite daunting, particularly if they have partners and that is included in the decision making. It can be very challenging and interesting as well. Well, what a great additional service to offer alongside the store. And do you have any other extra services? We are very big on service. It's very important to us. And from the time the customer comes in that door to the time we actually place the furniture in their home, we like to be in charge. So we have our own truck and our own driver and he's very particular and fussy. He makes sure that he places that furniture where the customer wants because service is huge for us here because of the type of quality of furniture we have and we're all extremely proud of what we have here. Great, so Doreen, how can visitors discover your store? We're in Greerton, that's Tauranga and our physical address is 156 Chadwick Road. We have an email address and it's greertonfern at extra.co.nz. We've got a website, www.greertonfurnishings.co.nz. Our phone number 07 5782028. So all we ask is people to come and have a look for themselves and be inspired. I'm sure it's going to be a wow. And there's also plenty of parking right outside the door. Great, thank you very much. So be inspired to create a bit of luxury in your home at Gret and Furnishings in Tauranga. Join us after the break as we have a chat to an interior designer from Design On James and then we head on through to Kevin Mercado Sculptor. See you then. A 
if you have an appreciation for quality and style and are looking for a bit of inspiration for your home, then Design on James should be your first port of call. Let's go and meet the team. Hey Lynette, now what a creative business you have here. So tell me a bit about Design on James. Well Design on James was built about 10 years ago when uh, I found that all my sampling was bulging in the home and I definitely needed a little bit more space to spread out. And what we have here is unique product which you don't generally see elsewhere and wonderful settings which are creatively inspired. So what we find is just lots of products which we can um, display well and it just works for us. Okay, now what services do you offer here as an interior designer? We offer the whole an interior design package, which means everything that you would need to decide on when building a home, right from the colour schemes to the carpet selection, the tiles, the fabric selections, the furniture placement, lamps, rugs, everything related to the interior. And also, one of the main, um, the main things that we get into is the textile side. We absolutely adore textiles, and so we love recovering furniture, providing fabrics for the point of difference chairs, and, and bed heads and linen that people have, and also, um, of course, cushioning. As an interior designer, what is the design process, and can the client get involved? The client has to be involved because the process is for the client and the way they live. So they definitely need input, and they do have a lot of input. And so initially, they'd make contact with me, come and visit me here, or I would go to see them. I definitely need to see their surroundings or see their plan and visit where they're actually going to be building or where they are renovating. And then it gives me quite um, a lot of idea as to where we need to head to. What it does, it takes a lot of um, time to for a single person to source all these products themselves and we can do it all here in one place. What an amazing idea. And tell me about the pieces for sale in your showroom. We have lots of interesting products around. We, um, just looking here, we've got a beautiful big sideboard from Mexico. We've got um, one-off chairs and interesting fabrics like the one you're sitting on there. We have couches from leading suppliers and they're all generally New Zealand made. We value the integrity behind the designers that we have in New Zealand and we like furniture that lasts and that become heirlooms for the future. And we also have lots of interesting, you know, complimentary accessories as well. We have an art exhibition on at the moment, so consequently a lot of our mirrors are out, um, actually aren't, aren't here, but the actual art is actually dotted around and that adds a really lovely sort of flavour to the place at the moment. Yeah. Now Lynette, how can people get in contact to discuss your services further? They just need to phone us or come out and talk to us and um, we generally just need to go and visit them in their home. It's a simple phone call, if they're unsure they can look on our website which we have um, www.designonjames.co.nz and they'll get some details there that they can follow. Great, thank you very much. What a beautiful showroom. So go on, let the team at Design on James get creative in your home. Mind-blowing talent and stunning feature pieces is what you'll find at Kevin McArdle Wood Sculptor. Come on through to the showroom and we'll take a look at a few of his pieces. Hi Kevin, now these pieces are incredible. So can you talk us through your background as a sculptor? Um, well I started carving probably about 20 years ago. Uh, it started off as a bit of a hobby and um, I started to put my work into jury shows uh, and I started to win prizes and things and it spurred me on to buy um, better tools and then just sort of get into it a little bit more full time. Um, I had quite a lot of support and stuff from family that enabled me to concentrate on it full time um, to build my skill level up. I put my work into group exhibitions um, with other artists and uh, I had opportunities where I was able to exhibit my work in some galleries in America and Hawaii which also helped my, my profile so over the time it was just a case of building my work my profile um, and then the value in my work sort of kind of went up to the point where um, I'm able to make a, a living off, off my artwork. Yeah exactly, you can see there's so much work that goes into each piece. So tell me what is your forte? Um, the clothing is probably what I'm mostly known for. I carve anything basically except indigenous carving. 
Um, and really I have a very strong, obviously a strong emphasis on the realism. Um, I love the detail, I love to try to recreate things that create an illusion of, of something being something that it's not. And um, yeah, but the clothing is probably what I'm known for basically, yeah. So if someone has a picture or ideas of something they want, would you create it? Yeah, for sure. A lot of what I do is commissioned. I love doing commissioned work. People come along with some really fantastic ideas and it's really good to take a concept um, or even a, a trait or, or something that somebody's very interested in and, and build a, a sculpture around something that's personal to them. Um, they might bring me a photo or they might bring me a, a piece of clothing or an old hat or something like that that they wear and if you do a sculpture of it, it it's something that the family can relate to and, and a lot of times they can pass them down to the kids and the grandkids and it, yeah, it has a lot of heart that sort of thing and I think y you know then that your pieces are cherished. And, and people, you know, want to keep them for life, really, as opposed to having some things, some people like to buy artwork that they keep for a little while and then they swap it out as they change the decor and things like that. So it's nice to know the pieces have a home and, and they're going to be looked after and cherished. That is really special to have something passed down through the family. So can you talk us through the process of creating each piece? Uh, it depends a lot on the, on the timber that I'm using. Uh, it's, it's difficult. Most, most jacket size carvings take around about five or six weeks. Some of the bigger ones can take a lot longer than that, uh, seven or eight weeks, even a little bit longer. A lot depends upon the detail. Um, but you never kind of know what you're going to get till you get into the piece of wood because the grain is different in each case and, and it throws up a different set of challenges each time. Um, so yeah, that's what keeps it kind of interesting really. And tell us about the reaction when people walk into the showroom and see your pieces. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of people don't believe it. A lot of people will stand a, a few feet away and, and, and still don't believe that they're looking at a piece of wood. Uh, the most common thing is leather. Um, people think that, it, that it's leather or at least it's something that can be bent and folded, something that's sort of malleable if you like, rather than something that's been carved out of a solid block. So, um, and then the, the typical reaction is that they want to touch the carving because they want to see if it's going to move. And, um, and a lot of the textures, they feel, once it's been textured, it feels a little bit like the fabric that, that what it's supposed to represent as well, so. That must feel amazing to see people's reactions as they walk in. So tell me, where exactly is the showroom located? Um, my showroom's located at um, Country Originals, which is 514 Cambridge Road uh, at Tower Eco in Tauranga. Um, yeah, it's fairly easy to find. It's close to the State Highway 29. As you turn off, about two k's down the road from State Highway 29. And how can people get in contact with you? They can contact uh, by phone, uh, 543 5345, or uh, my website, kevinmcardlesculptor.com, which um, yeah, is generally the, the way people contact me. Wow, the detail on this is absolutely incredible. Now, you really have to come in here and see it to believe it. So make sure you head on into Kevin McArdle Sculptor and prepare to be amazed. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for taking the time to stop in and have a look. <laughs> see you next time. Cheers. Well, as I said at the start of the show, so many things have caught my eye and I will definitely be back to each of those stores on my next trip through to Tauranga and I hope you will too. Now, join us again next week as we have our Bellevue show. Now, this is the first Bellevue show of the year and it's had a bit of a makeover of its own. So we'll be focusing on the school ball season. So make sure you tune in next week. We'll see you then. Bye. This has been an Alpha Media production, a division of Television Media Group.